trending hot right now. Our next guest happens to be one of the hottest musicians out right now. He lit up the stage last time he was here. It was amazing. And fresh off of his fifth, yes, fifth Grammy win, acclaimed singer, songwriter, and friend of our show, PJ Morton, is here. I'm so excited. So, the, the proud New Orleans native is the virtuoso behind hit albums like Watch the Sun and the keyboardist for a little band you might know called Maroon 5. Well, now PJ is gearing up to drop his latest and most personal album yet. It's called Cape Town to Cairo. And Tam, and right now, we're getting an exclusive first listen of his new single. It's called Please Be Good. Take a listen. I don't need to be in control. Got a vibe. I just want to let go. So please be good to me. 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 So you hear there the vibe. And now you start to understand the Cape Town Cairo thing going on. Well, let him explain in his own words. Please welcome five-time Grammy winner, P.J. Morton! I just want to let it go. So please be good to me. Please be good to me. How are you? Oh, my God, please be congratulations. Good Thank you. Please be good to me. Thank you. Good to me. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Um, that is such a vibe. Thank you. It's Thank so you. beautiful. Yeah. Um, I know that you were traveling throughout the continent That's of right. Africa, really finding this rebirth of voice, of focus. 30-day trip. That's right, yeah. Um, inspired this work. Yeah, we did. Um, so I wanted to try an experiment. I've been doing music for a while now, and we're always looking, you know, to be inspired. And um, so I wanted to go to the motherland and um, really experience it, but I put some pressure on myself to make, write a write a complete album in the 30 days that I was in on the continent. So that was the mission, right? That was the mission. Don't write anything before I got to Africa. I didn't write anything after I left Africa. Wow. Yeah. So we went from uh, South Africa, yeah. went from Cape Town, obviously, yeah. to Johannesburg. Then we went to Lagos, Nigeria. We went to Accra, Ghana. And we went all the way to Egypt and then came back to Johannesburg. Um, that's yeah. a beautiful. Yeah. Um, Emotionally, emotionally, where were you in your life that that became the goal? I'm always curious when people make a big decision like that. Yeah, I mean, for me, like I said, it was searching for something. I didn't know exactly what was there for me, but I knew that there was something in Africa for me. I mean, being a black American, you know, just that alone, I had never been to South Africa, never been to West Africa, uh, where, where our people were, were, were brought here from, you know? Um, so I knew that there was some type of connection and my, my greatest, you know, way of communicating is music. So I was like, let me feel whatever I'm feeling. And, um, and, and express that through the music, you know, whether it be the message, the sound, uh, collaborating with other musicians and producers. I just wanted to do it all. It's beautiful. Yeah. I know that when you were on your trip, that's when you learned that you won your fifth Grammy. Yes. You were in Africa when you got word. Yeah. Well, like, uh, I, 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 I think we have the tape. Let okay. me play it. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, yeah. I actually had gone back uh, with Maroon 5. We did yeah. a couple of festivals um, just now in, in South Africa, and I was just sitting there. We had a little watch party. You know, we're hours ahead, so it's midnight, you know, and, uh, and I went to my homie Shekinah's house, an amazing artist there in South Africa, and I really wasn't expecting to win. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm just chilling in there watching, eating my nachos, you know, and, uh, and, and they said P.J. Morton. And I you're just, like, oh! Oh. It's like my mind is blown, you know? Yeah, five, I mean, it's, five. it blows my mind, man. Oh, it my gosh, mind. it's beautiful. Well, coming up, I have something in my hand, another huge exclusive from P.J. Morton you don't want to miss. And we're going to talk about his Vegas residency with members of Maroon 5, yeah. the big reveal of what I have here after the break. Don't go anywhere. Time Grammy winner, the great PJ Morton. And the big reveal that I have in my hand, you have decided that it is time 
to tell your story mm -hmm. in your words, and you have written your memoir. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time PJ is wow. revealing the cover Saturday night, Sunday morning, staying true to myself from the pews to the stage. Man. You got it. This picture is beautiful, but the Thank intention. You. Saturday night to Sunday morning. Yeah, this, this kind of explains my life, kind of the dichotomy, you know, growing up a preacher's kid um, with gospel music around me, you know, oh. mostly. Um, starting out as a songwriter in gospel music, but but really feeling a pull to soul music and R&B music and those worlds I had to deal with, you know, preacher's kid signed a Lil Wayne at one point, <laughs> you know. It, it, in Maroon 5, yeah. like I'm, it's all Saturday night and Sunday morning for me. So I finally, you know, it's such a unique story, I think, yeah. and, and it's inspiring to me because it didn't happen fast for me. It, yeah. it took time, so I'm able to appreciate every little thing. Every step point. of it. Yeah. And yeah. I love it. I love this. I love the cover. I love how, thinking about your trip to Africa, how royal it looks, how Thank in you. command, and, and how you are going to share your journey. Because to your point, you know, PK. Preacher's kids, if you don't know. Y'all get a bad rap, and we everybody's judging you, and your dad is a preacher, your parents are preacher. You're not yeah. supposed to be doing high that. Expectations. High expectations. And you found your own voice and your own high expectations. That's right. And yeah. that's why this story is so beautiful. Thank You've had you. another, I mean, you're so busy. You've got another thing. Disney's recruited you to compose the original theme song for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, <laughs> the attraction Thank opening you. at Disney Parks. On both coasts, yeah. Um, you're a self-proclaimed Disney nerd. I love Disney. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. With Princess Tiana, I mean, me, my sister and I, you know, like we would remix it, like Little Mermaid yeah. or some. We put our little harmonies to it. It's probably why I ended up doing How Deep Is Your Love later, right, right. remixing. We did that our whole lives. Uh, but Disney music and yeah. movies have always. I've been drawn to a Beauty and the Beast. These songs, these big songs, and it was always a dream of mine to write for a movie. I actually never thought of writing for an attraction because right. who, who does? I don't know anybody <laughs> in my life who's written. So now written. millions yeah. of kids will be on that ride yeah. and hear what you've created. That's yeah. like, that's crazy legacy. It is crazy. crazy. My legacy. grandkids, I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Splash Mountain was there 35 years, so at least 30 yeah. years we'll have this and, and I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm over the moon. Vegas moment. residency, yes. booked and busy, Maroon 5. <laughs> yeah. You guys, Please tell me you're not going to be doing any usher dancing. Uh, you know? <laughs> no, my hips, my hips don't move the same. Um, no, we actually are in that same that same uh, room that Usher did his residency. Yeah. We've been doing it yeah. since last year. Yeah, um, it's so much fun. Maroon Five. Um, playing to the yeah. fans, playing all those songs that I they know it. back to back is beautiful. You yes. are beautiful. You're a beautiful yeah. human. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You. PJ's new single, Please Be Good, is out on Friday. Tickets to his upcoming live shows on sale now.